Can somebody drain the tanks? I'm drowning in the shower. Uh, yes, ma'am. How much is it to park an RV at your RV park for a month? $700. Okay. Um, does that include water or electricity? No, it doesn't. Okay. Ouch! what what I can't hear you yeah the AC is on just call me back ow hey can you go drain the tanks no can you do it well I did it last week I don't want to go I really don't want to it's really cold outside just go put a jacket on no, you go drain the tanks. Ugh, fine, I'll go do it. Can you say leaks? And also potential delamination. Why are you always eating on the couch and not at the table? I don't eat at the table because it's full of my office equipment, two computers, one laptop to edit videos. I use the table as extra storage. I do crafting at the table and I occasionally sit at the table to do my reflecting on exactly why I chose to live the RV life. Oh, okay, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed my video on some of the cons of living full-time in an RV. But seriously, it's really not all that bad. I personally think that the pros definitely outweigh the cons. The things I showed you in this video, they do happen. They might not happen with you, but uh, there are some pet peeves that I don't like that maybe you can tolerate, but it is what it is. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can see more videos from me about RV living and hopefully some more garden videos coming soon. See you next time, guys. Bye. Guys, guys, look at this. This right here, this window, these little red things right here, red, red, that indicates your emergency exit. This little area is your emergency exit. Let me show you how huge it is. You guys see that little window? Oh, look at my blinds, I broke them. Literally guys, this is like, I don't know, 15 inches. And you're expected to open them up open them up and then just kind of crawl out of there in case of an emergency it's really really small i mean i could fit through there but someone a little bigger than me might have a little bit of hard time um also keep in mind that this fifth wheel is really high off the ground this is a really small exit space so this is something to take into consideration um, if you feel more comfortable having, you know, 
one door to get out of your dwelling in case of an emergency, just bear in mind this window is your uh, only other option. Some RVs have two doors, which that's kind of cool. But yeah, look at this. So if you look out the window and we look down. Also, there's another emergency exit in the bedroom, which is another window but this window is even higher up because the fifth wheel goes up because there's steps and you're really high from the ground. So if you've got to exit, you guys have to keep in mind that you, you're gonna have to jump. I mean, hopefully you don't break any bones. Here's the other one, another real tiny one. This one you just plop up, push, push out. And there's the bar. Oh, it's way down there. I feel like this one's like 10 feet high. It's ridiculous.